In this quick tip video, we will have a look at the new way of placing and moving Thea lights inside SketchUp. You can find the light by opening the Thea tool and select the light tab. In here there are four icons, each one representing one light type. Let's see them all one by one. The point light emits light uniformly in all directions, so to create a point light, press the first button. Click anywhere in the scene to place the light and make one more click to finish the command. Let's start viewport rendering to see how it looks like. Use the control node of the point light by double clicking on it. The next light is the spotlight. To create a spotlight, simply click once in the viewport to define the light source and once more for the target. Let's see that interactively. To modify its position and parameters, double click on it. Now you can see the control nodes. One is for the light source. The second one is for the target. The last two control the hotspot and the falloff. As you may have noticed, any change to the light's controls updates the image instantly, making it fully interactive. Let's move on to the IES light. The IES light is identical to the spotlight in terms of how you create it, but it doesn't have falloff and hotspot controls. So click once to define the light's position and once more for the target. Let's start interactive rendering and modify the light nodes. Again, by double-clicking on the light, you get the nodes displayed. Finally, there is the projector light. The projector light uses images for illuminating the scene. Let's first create it by clicking to place its source and the target. We will now start the interactive rendering. To load an image, just click on the Browse button and select one. The great thing about how it works is that Thea reads the aspect ratio of the image and passes it to the interface so you don't have to worry about distorting the image. Control the light's position by moving the nodes. The projector light can also display correctly images having transparency, like this one. This concludes our quick tip for the lights tool. Thank you for watching.